I'm Simon and I'm here at Airbeam TV to talk you through our app Mirror for Chromecast. Also works with Android TV. Today though, I am using a Samsung TV with a Chromecast stick plugged into the back, but this will work across all Chromecast devices and any TVs that run on Android TV, but we've got a separate video you can find about that. So first of all, we need to get the app. If you head to the App Store and search for Airbeam TV, you will find it in there. It's a free app, but if you want the full epic experience, you can upgrade to premium to remove the watermark and adverts. Once the app is downloaded, we are almost ready to go. First of all, we need to ensure that our iPhone or iPad is upgraded to iOS 13 or later, so that if we are playing something in Safari, the sound will come out of our TV as well. Secondly, we need to make sure that both of our devices, the iPhone and the Chromecast, are connected to the same local network. Now we just need to open the app for the first time. So. Go ahead and open that on my iPhone and straight away I'll see Airbeam TV Chromecast, which is this chap. If I tap on that, it will give us a little green tick and then it will say connecting to TV and we'll see this delightful little animation to tell us that it is connected and it will make a little sound. We're good to go. So once that's happened, we click next step and it'll ask us if we want notifications to happen on our iPhone or iPad, which just means a little bar will tell us when we're mirroring. So I'll click allow notifications and allow. And then all I need to do is click start mirroring and start broadcast. We'll get a little three, two, one countdown and then the magic will begin. My iPhone screen will appear on my Chromecast. And sure enough, there it is. So once that's up there, we can see anything that we have on our phone on our screen. So for example, we might want to display some photographs. Uh, perhaps uh, we've got some nice uh, holiday snaps. Oh, look at that. That was uh, a time when I went to Ireland. And we can do the same thing if we want to watch videos from our phone on the big screen. Of course, if they're stored in your camera roll, you can just go ahead and play those, but you might want to watch stuff off the internet. So if we head into Safari, we can do just that. You want to make sure the volume is turned down on your phone, then you can turn it up on the TV, and that's where the sound will come from. We simply put it in full screen, turn the phone on its side, then the same thing will happen on here. Oh, what's this? It looks like a a very amusing and well-made rap video by a man trapped in quarantine going slowly mad. That's how easy it is. If you have any thoughts, questions or queries, feel free to get in touch with us via Facebook Messenger or via email. In the meantime, happy mirroring.